guys, it's Scott here and welcome to La Liga Team of the Season as well as Season 6 of Ultimate Team for this year. Hopefully you do enjoy this video. If you do, thumb it up, subscribe if you're new, if you want to see daily content for FIFA. We're uploading a ton of videos throughout Team of the Season and post Team of the Season when we're going to get Summer Heat, Euros content and all of that. But if you do want to see it recorded live, then all of these 6pm content videos and everything else that we do is live over on our Twitch channel. The link is in the description. If you do want to go and get yourself some coins as well, because some of these players that I'm about to show you are going to be so damn expensive, you're going to need the coins. If you look at mine in the top left, you'll see six and a half mil. That is because I use IG Vault. Use my code at checkout. If you're looking to pick up some foot coins, then head on over to IG Vault. They are doing a 30% discount on all coins throughout Team of the Season. And if you buy some coins, you will be entered into a 30 million foot coins giveaway. If you use my code Birdie at checkout, you'll get an extra 6% off. And so we're actually starting our 6pm content video a little bit early. As you can see in the top right, we have got... Three minutes and three seconds till six o'clock, but EA decided they were just going to reveal the team of the season. So this is it. They randomly tweeted it out at quarter two instead of like at bang on six. We've got a 98 striker Messi, a 97 rated Benzema card, 96 all black, 95 Varane. Enjoy. 95 Suarez, 94 De Jong, who looks outrageously good. Casemiro, Jordi Alba, Naval Fakir, Carrasco, Lucas Vasquez, Jesus Navas, Gerard Moreno, this insane Llorente card, who is back at centre mid after his right mid card that he got, and then Koundé. So, some amazing cards in here. When the guaranteed SBC comes out, I imagine people are going to want to avoid Moreno. But, like, this is a Hullet gang right wing. Navas is insane. Llorente is insane. Koundé fits in so many teams. The lower-rated ones are going to be good for people to get. I would like to avoid Moreno or Casemiro. Because, again, I think four of the five on this line are really good as well. And then here, these guys are going to be monsters. This Messi, compared to his team of the year, has seven more physicals. So we're assuming his stamina is going to be, like, 90-plus as well. It's going to be mad. So, yeah, that is the La Liga team of the season revealed early because EA want to be EA, basically. Uh, no apparent reason for tweeting it out early. Uh, and then we have got a minute and a half to go until we see what is coming out in game. So, we're going to jump back over here. And as it stands, we are about to lose all of these objectives... The season progress, we're about to get a brand new season, and then obviously any uh, a lot of current SBCs are also disappearing as well. So today, we are losing the Premier League upgrades. The rare player pick is going, which is interesting to see what that's going to be replaced with. It could be exactly the same thing, to be fair. We are also losing the Prem Challenge. Bale's SBC is gone. The 81 to 87s are going as well. This Prem upgrade, the midfielder icon upgrade is going. Petros is going. We're losing a lot of stuff. So here's hoping that in the next, what is it, like 40 seconds? Yeah, 35 seconds here, that we're going to get some really, really good SBCs, objectives, and new season. Because we say this every single time. When the new season rolls around, for the most part, they get it wrong. The level 30 players are not worth grinding to level 30 for. Like, look at these cards at this stage of the game. Come on, man. Come on. They've got to be 90 plus. These new ones should be 95 rated because you're not going to be able to get them until June or the middle of June. So if they're not going to give us 95-ish rated players here, it's going to be such a letdown. But it has just hit 6 o'clock... Let's see. A new season has started. Please try again. What well, I'm trying to try again. Here we go. So we start things off with team of the season, uh, Isaac, uh, which looks decent. Uh, he is in the La Liga Lynx live foot friendly. Another easy one, really. I think Isaac is double four star. I might be mistaken, but he looks like he could be good. Plays for Sociedad. You've got William Carvalho. So we already have more stuff for La Liga than we got for the Prem. Um, and this one is Squad Battles or Rivals. So a moments card for Carvalho. He actually looks better than Casemiro. And yet he's five ratings lower. 
interesting. Uh, these ones, we don't have anything special here. Let's see what we've got in season progress, though. So, a cheeky little boar. Oh, look at that elephant. That's actually quite incredible. I'm not going to lie. Five-star week for, for Isaac. Well, there you go. The boar and the elephant, again. Footballer juggernaut. And whatever the hell that thing is. Same with them. Great. Great. Galaxy brain and atomic super science. Right then, here we go. Level 15, double three star, high medium. Place for Leipzig. It's probably going to take you a week, maybe a week and a half, or two weeks to get this Adams card. It's bang average. It's absolutely bang average. Next, who the hell are you? He gets a strong link to the guy that we got last time, English from the Portuguese League. Four star, three star. Meh, again. Next one. Julien. Did he get team of the season last year? I might be making that up. French centre back from Celtic. Pace, meh. Defending and physical, really good. Six foot five. 57 balance, 75 acceleration. They're, they're just not good. They're really not good. Uh, this, this, this. What are these packs? Average packs. A paint splatter ball. Meh. Average packs. Rabbit. Go on the rabbit. Retro vacation. This kind of pack exactly the same as every single time. Oh my goodness, Spring Puff. Well, I'm getting to level 28. Oh, Spring Puff. Look at him go. Oh, I, I, you know what? I need to move my camera. Look at him. Look at his little boots. What a legend. Right, level 28. We need to get there. Now, we've got Origi. Double four star. High medium. Six foot two. Again, bear in mind, you will get this card, I'd say, roughly middle of June. Okay, team of the season will be done by the time you can get this card. Is it good enough? Probably not. It's okay. It's nothing special. Next up, Ander Herrera. Double four star again. High, high. It's, it's a well-rounded card. It's just... It's not team of the season level, and you're going to get it when team of the season is over. It's a little bit below what you would hope for. Again, it's okay. This is better than Origi, I think. And then the third one, Ren and Lodi. See, now this is a better card because he has stats that are really good for his position. Like, his dribbling stats are really, really good for a left back. His passing's fine. And with a Shadow Chem style, his pace and defending will be basically maxed out. His stamina's 96, aggression 89. That'll be a really solid card. That will most likely compete with most team of the season left backs. Herrera is okay. Origi... I, I don't think he'd be good enough. I, I don't know. Right, now let's quickly see if we got anything interesting in SBCs. Start things off with live. We have got this. Okay, so for the big game, Rodrigo v Luke de Jong... Rodrigo coming in four star, three star. You could have boosted him up, but that's fine. Pace great, shooting good, passing terrible, dribbling great. He's got flair as well, it's okay. And then De Jong. Ooh, okay. Five star, four star, flashback Marcelo. Well, that interests me for the five star skills. Pace is good. Passing stats are really good. Shooting is decent. Dribbling stats are solid. Defensive stats really good. Physical is decent as well. Flair outside the foot shot. That looks pretty damn good. Fernando won player of the month. We saw that before. La Liga team of the season challenges here. Uh, we don't get any upgrade packs or SBCs, which is interesting. I was expecting... To at least get like player picks or something like that. But nope. Not the case. He does get a perfect into Casemiro and Militao. Yep. Uh, and this Rodrigo. <laughs> Hyperlink Rodrigo to Marcelo. 
and the man of the match, Vinny Jr. they got a few Brazilians, Real Madrid. Let's quickly see how much these cost, though, to do. An 84 and an 86 for Rodrigo. I'm assuming De Jong is the same. Five star, three star. I'm not sure if many people are going to be interested in this card. He had a solid card last year, right? 84 and an 85 with an inform. He is a little bit cheaper. How much is Marcelo, though? An 84 with the Team of the Week, an 85 with the Team of the Week, 86 with the Team of the Week, 87 with the Team of the Week, and an 88. Mm, well, that's... That's quite a lot. <laughs> I don't know exactly how expensive that is, but it's a lot. So let me know your thoughts on whether you think this is going to be worth it. Whether you think Rodrigo, Luke de Jong are worth it. Who are you most excited for out of the team of the season players? Let me know.